Okay, we're getting ready to feed George, our old Savannah monitor. We have chickens for George. He likes those. Now we're going to let him know what we have here. Come on. And bring him over here where we can see better. And this is George going after his chicken. There you go. Oh, you missed it. There you go, George. This is George figuring out which end to start with. There he got it. He likes chicken. Of course, there's not a whole lot that he doesn't like. And this is... He's actually getting two of these chicks. And this will be a good meal to last him most of a week. He might get a few small rat fuzzies or mouse fuzzies during the week. But for the most part, this is his big meal for the week. Uh, this will keep him well fed and healthy and happy. Uh, I feed George a variety of, of prey items. I give him I give him mice. And I give him rats. And I give him chickens and quails. And I also give him crickets. And those are primarily more for exercise than for food. He doesn't really get many calories from, from crickets, but he enjoys chasing them. He also gets uh, orange spot roaches, or what they call Blaptica Dubai, and uh, occasionally some hard boiled eggs, or if I can get them from work, uh, cockatiel eggs or quail eggs. Uh, he enjoys all of that. Uh, I primarily give him whole prey items because by doing that I eliminate the need for uh, calcium supplements and vitamin supplements because whole prey items have everything he needs. They've got calcium in the bones, they've got uh, you know the iron and, and protein and, and vitamin A and vitamin D and it's got everything he needs for a complete diet. You try it the other way George. Try it this way. Come here. Let me see that. Let me see that. Try it this way. Go for that end. Go for that end. There you go. There you go. See if that works better. Hey, there you go. See, doesn't that go down better when you eat it head first? Yeah, as you notice, I use a pair of tongs to feed him because even though George is pretty docile and pretty easy going, when he's eating, he's still in you know, a, a dangerous animal to, to have your fingers around. He, uh, he could very easily take the, the flesh right off a finger. Uh, he's got very strong jaws and he can take, as you can see, a pretty good sized meal for the size animal he is. Uh, after he eats this, I'll let him wander around the room for a little bit longer and then you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and after that I'll put him back in his cage so he can sit under his basking spot so he can uh, start properly digesting that big meal he just had. Uh, Savannah monitors, as with most monitors, they need a, a pretty high t uh, temperature basking spot. Uh, generally you want something 130, even 140 degrees isn't really too hot for them. They, they will sit there as long as they feel they, they need to, and then they'll move to a cooler area. But they really need those high temperatures to be able to digest their food. Anyways, it looks like George is done with his meal, so I'm going to say goodbye. Y'all have a good evening.